In this topic, we are going to discuss about the sources of organizational knowledge, and there are basically uh, two sources of organizational knowledge: the internal knowledge and uh, external knowledge. Internal knowledge is generated through investing in international production of uh, in, in in internal production of knowledge, such as uh, such as research and development. Uh, so all the knowledge which is created within the organization uh, that is internal knowledge it is something which is highlighted in the resource and knowledge based theories of the firm so uh, resource based view is, it also looks at the importance of knowledge skills and abilities within the organization as well as the knowledge based theories of uh, organization which also look at how much an or uh, uh, how much knowledge does an organization have and what are the important uh, outcomes of that knowledge so internal knowledge is calculated if it is measured and it is uh, uh, evaluated in these resource and knowledge based theories and a lot of research confirms the fact that uh, internal knowledge uh, the uh, human capital actually of the organization that has a significant um effect on various different desired outcomes such as the productivity efficiency effectiveness of the organization as well as positive organizational behaviors then uh, another source of knowledge is the external knowledge and within that there are further two categories uh, number 1 is the network based knowledge network based knowledge is that is on the basis of knowledge inputs from relations to external partners and it is acquired and accumulated uh, through long term interaction with specific external parties such as customers and suppliers and use of that knowledge in the company so basically it is the knowledge which you get from your network network is the relationships that you have um as an organizational entity with your outside environment and the first relationship that you have with your outside environment is your market uh another uh, another relation which you have is your suppliers and uh those who provide you with uh, raw material and inputs for the organization and then there are many other important actors which with which the organization interacts for example um uh, there are ngos for particular causes so they press on for different kind of uh, uh, requirements from organizations for example for environmental management for example um, equal em uh, employment opportunity uh discrimination and uh, uh, marginalization of uh, certain um people in um, in the society so all these things they are they make people make the organization uh gain knowledge about the external environment of the organization and uh, by interacting with the uh, with these entities the organization is able to acquire create and develop new knowledge which can later on be applied for um further enhancement uh that is network based knowledge then another aspect of ex external knowledge is cluster based knowledge cluster based knowledge is basically knowledge inputs from uh from a well educated workforce or local knowledge institutions such as technical universities so that is kind of expert knowledge uh for example uh from people who are expert in certain fields uh, for example if you hire consultants to for uh, change management if you hire consultants for human resource development if you hire consultants for organizational development all these people who will come to your organization and tell you how to restructure your organization that is organizational development or how to train or enhance the skills of your employees that is human resource development or how to uh, manage your market in a better way that is marketing management 
so all the knowledge which comes from you from these clusters uh, the expert knowledge that is something which is cluster based knowledge which is present in some form of clusters in the external environment of the organization and you get that knowledge for some specific purpose and apply it in your organization so these are the various sources of knowledge internal and external and in external we have net network based knowledge and cluster based knowledge